What's up guys and welcome to the 50 second Xamarin Android tutorial. So this video is going to be just a quick one demonstrating how to flip the drawer layout on in the toolbar so the drawer layout is on top of the toolbar, okay? So this is going to be following directly from tutorial 50, the tutorial before last, where we finished up the left and right navigation drawer, okay? Now, we since I've since I've made that video, I've actually had a few comments and questions regarding the the same one that how to flip and have the drawer navigation drawer on top of the toolbar, okay? And that's why I love getting comments and, and uh, messages from you guys is because you guys can come up with ideas and think of things that I just don't and then um, gives me just, you know, new fresh ideas. So with those questions in mind, I've, I've implemented something that uh, that does something similar to what, so what some of the uh, people out there were asking. So here's how to do it. And, Here's how it looks, okay? So it's still fully functional, and and uh, really all you gotta do is just change the layout, the AXML, okay? And so I'm gonna demonstrate how to do that right now. Now, if you don't have the project, remember that you can go into uh, the YouTube video that I have, the tutorial 50, and click on the show more, and then download it from here, and you'll download the zip file, okay? So the zip file, I have already downloaded right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to extract it. And then once I do that, I'll go ahead and open it up with open it up with Xamarin Studio since that's where I was continuing or making the, the navigation door. So it's gonna stay consistent. And I'll go ahead and get into the solution and then open with, or I'll keep it, I guess it's already open with Xamarin. So, okay. So if you run this right now, if we make sure that it's still working, this 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 file that we just unzipped and built, let's go ahead and rebuild and run it, and then let's make sure that it's all working the way that we expect it to, and then we'll continue on with, with flipping around the toolbar. All right, so this is where we left off in the in the in the tutorial uh, 50, where we were completed with this project, and the as you notice there is a left and a right drawer layout. It is uh, fully functional, and the toolbar is on top as you normally expect the action bar, the toolbar to be up top of the drawer. Okay, so here was where we're going to take this project, and we're actually going to flip it to the bottom. All right, and here's how to do that. So let's go ahead and stop running. And let's open up our layout file. So our only one inside this project, which is main AXML. And let's come into the source. And first notice that the toolbar is on top of the drawer layout, like we expect. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a weight sum on this linear layout, the, the linear layout that is the entire screen, where we're going to, it has two children, the toolbar and the drawer layout. All right. So we're going to take one of them and we're going to actually bring it down here and bring it below but it's actually not that simple because notice that it's it if you go back to the content view it's not going to render the toolbar okay and that's because the drawer layout is taking up all of the room okay and that and therefore there is not not enough screen space so what we're going to do is in the linear layout its parent we're going to set a weight sum okay and the way you can do that remember is weight sum and we're going to mimic 100 for like 100 percent and then we're going to we're going to choose the height because it's a vertical orientation. We're going to choose the height of the children to be a percentage of, of how much to take of the height of the parent. All right. So let's come into here and remember we needed to set zero TP, DP for the height because it's no longer going to render its height based on the, an actual uh, density pixel or independent density pixel, but actually a, a, you know, percentage that we're going to give it. So then the way we can do that is layout underscore weight equals 90. So we can say that this is going to take up 90% of the entire linear layout, which this linear layout, remember, is part of the screen. So the screen in, in is what we're really saying. And if you come into here, we want to do the same thing for the toolbar, 0DP for that. And then we'll do layout weight 10. And these values can be changed, guys, if you want. However, I'm just kind of thinking up some values on the fly that, that probably are going to look OK, OK? So here we go. Now we can see that this is now rendered to the bottom of the toolbar, which it wasn't a second ago. But now that we're using the weight sum, now it is. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and run this guy and make sure that it is working the way we expect it to. All 
All right, and there you have it. So now you see that the toolbar is now at the bottom of the screen. And notice that it's not overlaying it, okay guys? So make sure that you know that is that it's not overlaying this. So it's not taking up or covering any of the drawer layout. The drawer layout actually ends right here because it's actually we're using that weight sum. So it's the drawer layout and then right beneath it is the toolbar, okay? So we're not losing losing any sort of, of content or, any, or anything like that, okay? So there you have it guys though, but that's that's basically how it's done. And really, like I said, it's really simple. Just a layout file that we need to change. And because we didn't change any C-sharp code, we of course get the same functionality that we had before we started this project, all right? So there you go. And if you guys uh, like always have any other comments or questions um, about this, uh, feel free to leave them below or below the other tutorials regarding this drawer, a navigation drawer with the support library seven. And um, you know, I'm always like I said, glad to hear your cool ideas. This is this is strictly for you guys that uh, that I'm making this. You know, like I said, I didn't even think about this until until a few of you guys started messaging messaging and commenting me, uh, asking how to implement that. All right, so thank you for that. And as always, thanks for watching.